18 ABB robots and 18 FANUC robots were installed in the Ford Center for Excellence in Manufacturing Lab. Here it is. These robots are used in industry and support the seamless transition for our students to enter the manufacturing sector upon graduation from St. Clair College. We're really happy to, uh, to get together and celebrate this and it's great to see so many people from the college that had an active role in putting this together because it really takes a village. Everybody pulled together to put this project together over many, many years and it's so exciting to see it come to fruition. These 36 robot cells allow our students to get not only hands-on real-world experience, but simply by showing up to class, they are learning because these are not educational cells and we are very proud of that. You are not stepping into an educational facility here. You are stepping into a real-world designed with safeties integrated classroom. Our students learn by that, and that's very important to us and our entire team. And it's extremely valuable to our students knowing they get what's in demand now and our future students to have the ability for us to adapt to meet that said industry advancements within the hardware we have. This lab is more than just equipment and tools. It's a place where we can experiment, collaborate and grow. It empowers us to take our learning into our own hands and explore endless possibilities of robotics. The college's vision in establishing this lab encourages all of us to dream big and pursue our passions. As TJ put it, these are industry uh, hardened equipment. It's not it's not toys for the for the lab or for the classroom. Those of us in the automation industry in in the area understand how much of a powerhouse Windsor Essex is in automation. And I think this standing here, you know, it's kind of the, the cherry on top to say we're here and we're not going anywhere. And St. Clair is the place to learn hands-on skills. And uh, yeah, we're very proud of the work we're doing here. So thank you.